Hi everyone. Mrs. Tolan seems to be having an issue with technology at the minute. I've just got too many things on the go. So I thought maybe you might have that problem at home. Here is a story all about tech. Tech, the modern cave boy. Once upon a time, way, way back, a long time ago, maybe yesterday, there lived a little cave boy named Tech. Tech was pretty much your typical troglodyte child. Yes, he did have a beard, but everything was kind of hairy back then. Ugh. All cave boys lived in caves, of course. But the problem with this cave boy was that he never wanted to leave his, even when friends came to visit. In the evening, an eerie glow came from Tex cave, making it impossible to see the twinkling stars above. Tech stayed alone in his cave room, glued to his phone, his tablet and his game box, all day, all night, all the time. Outside, the real world was evolving, but Tech couldn't have cared less. Tech missed out on all the winter fun during the Ice Age. He never even learned his dinosaur names, identifying them as Whatchamacallitosaurus, a Who's Datosaurus, or a Flying I Don't Give a Dactyle. My brain may be the size of a walnut, but even I know that it's not a healthy situation, said his best friend Larry. I wish Tech would come out and play. Big Popper, the village volcano, had an idea. He could make fire. He could shake things up. Big time. So Big Popper... Popped! The eruption shot Tech and his phone, tablet and game box out of his cave and into the sky. Tech crashed. He was totally disconnected. Tech awoke, breathing in the sweet, fresh air, basking in the warm sun and tickled by the cool grass. He wondered where he was. He looked around and discovered a dragonfly, a tiger lily, a jinko tree, a hairy elephant, the hairy people, an awesome, awesome asaurus. The big, beautiful world. Tech left his gadgets behind and ran to find his good friend Larry. Tech and Larry laughed and played all day in that sunny garden. And in the evening, they reached for the glorious stars. The end. From this story, you can do a number of activities to extend your child's understanding and learning. The following suggested ideas progress in level of challenge, allowing you to choose the best for your child. You could Look around the home and count how many items of technology there are. You could draw a picture of Tech and Larry. You could allow your child to play online, but show that they only have a certain amount of time to do this in. This can be done with an egg timer or the parental controls on the device being used. You could set a smart speaker to sound an alarm at a set time. You can take time off the computer and play a game of your child's choice. You could make paper puppets of the characters and retell the story. You could allow your child to play on the computer using the timer and then talk about why it is important to change the activity. You could allow the, your child to set the timer themselves and work on time from the clock, incorporating maths. You could look at the emotions of the character throughout the story. Or you could create a timetable of when all devices need to be turned off and put away for breaks or the end of the day. 
You could create a leaflet advising people not to spend too much time on the computer. If your child is able to, they can research an additional reason why you should not be on a device for too long. They could look at the emotions of the characters throughout the story and discuss what they would do if their friends stopped talking to them because they were on their tablet all of the time. Or they could write a letter to tech saying how they feel and that they missed them as a friend. I hope you found that useful. Feel free to send any messages or videos, pictures of any activities that you've done from today's learning from home session. Take care of yourselves. Bye.